Hello everyone, my name is James Wilborn and I am an Educational Technology Specialist and today I want to show you 99Math. 99Math is a website that helps students master math fluency with curriculum standards. So it's a tool that can be used in a group setting or in individual practice as well. I'm going to show you both sides, the teacher side and the student side. So the first thing you do is go to 99Math.com and as a teacher, you would uh, sign up right here with this button, Teacher Start Here. But since I already have an account, I'm going to go ahead and log in for you. And you log in with your Google account. Go do all the preliminary uh, things. And once you get in, this is your home, your home page, your dashboard. Over here on the side is where you can change the grade levels. Uh, if you want to modify it for your students, but you can click on grade skills and decide what grade skills you want to attack. Uh, they'll ask you when you sign up what grade level you teach, but you can always go in and change it here. So if I do third grade, I want to do, and if I want to do more topics, you see all the topics that I can do for third grade, from number sense all the way to addition to, equa to equations. If I click on sixth grade, decimals, percent, fractions, exponents, so many different things. So when I click on third grade and I click on multiplication, they'll show me all the skill builders that they have, uh, multiplication tables, multiplying by two, by three, even equations. And the cool thing is you can also go inside and customize the skill to fit your uh, students and class needs. So let's just for the sake of time, I'm going to click on multiply by one. And what you notice is that there is a student view, a, pre, a preview of what the students will see working on multiplying by one. If you think that's too easy, you maybe want to come down to the tables. Click on two by three by four and by five. And then you'll get a, a preview of what the students will see. Then what you can do, this is the awesome part right here, individual practice you can assign individual practice. But you only see this option after you play one game with at least four students, okay? You'll, you won't see it when you first log in, but once you play one game with at least four students, uh, this option will appear. But when you go to group game, what I love about this is that you can change the game duration. So you can do three minutes, and what this is saying is that the three rounds, one minute each. You can also change that to two rounds and so forth and so forth. Same thing with five minutes is only one option and then you have 10 minutes with three different options. So you decide depending on the skill that you're about to, to do, uh, you can decide. So once you pick a duration, this is what you'll see. It reminds you of Kahoot. Uh, you can copy that link. You can put it in the Google Classroom or have the students type it and there's the game code, and then you actually play the actual game. And the way the game uh, works is after each round, they will show you um, who's in first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And at the very end, what I love about it is that I don't believe any other website is doing this, is that you also get uh, praises for most improved and also praises for most accurate. So even though you have students who place first through fifth, they still also highlight those students who improved through each round and also um, the students who were most accurate. So that's what we're after, accuracy. So if I go back, I wanna show you a few more things on the teacher side. You have reports. So after you finish a game, not reports, let's go to classes, I do apologize. Classes, you can import if you go to add new class, you can import your, your Google Classroom, but you don't have to. For 99 Math, the teacher can just start the game as you saw earlier, and uh, it will still generate a report. Uh, importing your Google Classroom, what that does is when the, st the students create an account, which they can, when they start doing solo practice, which I'll show you, there's a solo practice piece on their end. When they start to do uh, skills and addition, multiplication, fractions, whatever the skill is that you ask them to do, you will see their progress. And I'll show you what that looks like. 
So when I go to classes and I click on one of my students, I will see their, their uh, skills and what they've been working on. So that's the whole piece on having the students create an account. So if you don't want to do the, uh, the accounts and have them log into one, you don't have to. But having them log in and do the solo practice, it generates a report like this on each student. So again, you go right here to your class, add your class from Google Classroom, and it will generate uh, each kid for your class. So when you get to reports though, once you finish your game, or the, uh, finish the game, all the reports will pop up here. And as you see, that's my class right there in my Google Classroom. So I can click on it and it will show me how they did on the whole group game. What I can do is I can go to see mistakes and I can see how fast or how slow it took them to answer. Uh, I can see the fastest correct answers. I can see all of their answers. So that's really a good uh, eye opener for me to uh, uh, a little peep uh, into their uh, report. And I see the class score, the class accuracy, it reminds you of Kahoot quizzes to some degree. So it's a really powerful tool uh, to use. And then let's say right here in the middle, if you see it, see mistakes. If I click that, that shows me all the mistakes as a class that was uh, popular mistakes. So what I can do is say, hey, I'm gonna assign that as homework. But again, remember, if you wanna assign it as homework, you first have to play a game with at least four students. And then this option will appear. So if they really struggle with this, I can assign it as homework. And I'll show you what that looks like right now. So let's say I'm going to go to addition and I want to make this adding three digits to one digit numbers and a homework assignment. I don't want to play the whole game. I want to assign it as practice. It doesn't have to be homework. It can be classwork. I've seen teachers use it in the beginning of the day and even at the end of the, end of the day. So when you click on individual practice, you see these options. You can add more skills for them to do individually as well. But the options are number of problems or do it by time. Choose one or the other. They're going to do 15 problems or they can do as many problems as they can uh, in two minutes or three minutes or five minutes. And then one of the awesome things is that once you give it a deadline, if you like, you press assign, then you can make it into a uh, Google Classroom link. So you could copy that link or you could go strict, strict, straight in, <laughs> straight into your Google Classroom. So when I click on that, you guys know how Google Classroom works. I can find your class. I can you know, let that upload and give it a title. And then I can decide which student gets what. So that can be another powerful tool as you uh, differentiate the skills. So you have a link for one set of students and you can just select who's the only child that gets that or who's the only group of students that get that. And then you come back and find another skill. So I think you get the idea. You can really differentiate uh, the skills and make sure you uh, really focus on those skills for those students that need assistance. Okay, so that is the pretty much the basis of the of the the uh, the teacher side of 99 math the the student side just to show you really quickly when they go to 99math.com they can log in use their Google account and this is their home page so they can change their avatar they'll see the leaderboard and all of that they have the ability to change their avatar change their background when they get enough points. So this side reminds me of Freckle in a sense of gaining points. So what you can do is down here at the bottom it says play solo. So when I click play solo the teacher can tell them hey I want you to go to level one or level two, level three, level four, level five or level six. And each uh, level has different skills and different levels of uh, difficulty. So if I do level three I'll see that addition has 10 skills for them to master. So if I click on it, 
I can start anywhere, but I try to tell the students to start at the very bottom. And as they go through it, I'll just give you an example. I'm not getting them right for a particular reason. <laughs> but we'll just go ahead and put, let's just say you have students that just want to breeze through it. And you'll see 14% accuracy. And if I want to get a check or get coins, I have to get at least 60%, 80%, or 90%. And they can see for themselves how they did as well. And I press home, and then I am starting all the way over again. So that is practice for them. If you think of extra math, this is kind of like that as well. So the teacher can also see that report on their side as well. So 99 Math is an awesome tool. You can play as a group like Kahoot. You can even assign it as homework, as individual practice, and it also helps them master their math fluency. Have a great day.